Hello, my name is Kyle Johnston with Gerard Products. Today I'm going to show you the proper installation of the flange onto the water heater to prevent any carbon monoxide or water intrusion into the living space of the RV. The first step in the installation is we have already pre-installed the water heater plumbing, gas lines, and wiring, and the water heater is partially exposed out of the cutout. We have two different flanges here. Uh, there are three different types of, of flanges that we use. A standard flange, aftermarket flange like this one right here yeah, that we'll be using today to cover the hole that you see to the left in the cutout. And what we have done is pre-applied butyl to the water heater flange. We want it to apply this butyl directly into the corners to create a good seal as it attaches to the case of the water heater. You'll also notice that we have applied the butyl all the way to the outer portions of the flange to create a good seal to the sidewall of the trailer. At this point in time, what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply the flange, slip it right into the case of the water heater and squeeze it on down so that we actually get a nice good seal onto the case. So covering all the gaps right into the corners. At that point in time what we'll do is apply screws or rivets and we have two pre-drilled pre and pre-aligned holes on each side of the water heater. So we will apply drill, we'll drill in screws right here, here, and then all the way around. the case to the flange, what I have is a good seal where the case is actually biting into the putty tape. At this point in time, it's a, simply a matter of inserting the water heater and flange into the sidewall and the cutout. We're going to give it a good push up into the sidewall. At that point in time, it's simply a matter of inserting screws in all the proper locations to secure the flange to the sidewall. As you do this, you'll actually see the putty tape oozing up from the flange that means you're doing a pretty good job of it.
once the flange is on, you can actually look at the seal you've created from the butyl tape. Trim back the butyl tape where it's oozing out and install the door.